Hi, welcome to another episode of Healthy Living. Do you know carrot juice are a big part of Gerson therapy healing protocol? And do you know how best to make carrot juice, especially with a super angiogenic? My name is Jian from Health Talk 180. On this channel, we share information on health and healing with holistic protocols. So if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be able to catch all my future videos. People use carrot juice to activate body's innate healing ability to heal from some of the most devastating chronic illnesses. On my healing journey, I drink minimum six cups fresh carrot juice daily for a minimum two years. So that worked out close to almost 4,000 cups of juice during that two years time. And until this day, I still drink two cups of carrot juice daily as part of my maintenance protocol for to maintain and improve my health, continue to improve my health. Recently, some of my friends um, started juicing and uh, got super energy juicer so ask me how best to make a different type of juices. So I thought I'll make a video today about how to make a carrot juice. So now let's get started. First, I want to show the super energy juice of the gears. Okay, so I'm gonna disassemble this. There's a lever on this side, of lift it up, and then you can take it off. As you can see, the super engine, the reason it's good because it got a twin stainless steel gears, okay? Twin gears, put it on. Now, this, this housing, you see here, typically they have a rubber ring around here. After wash, it's after difficult to put it on. So I just simply do not use this one. I just take it off without it, okay? Most of the time, no problem. So I put it on without the rubber ring. Occasionally, it might leak a little bit around here. I just use a little bit of glass jar to put underneath to catch it. And another thing is that because I don't have the rubber ring, sometimes this liver, um, this liver on this side, it could come off. So what I do is I use a rubber band and put along the liver here and go over, go around it. So we'll keep this in place. It's just my uh, little tips. Uh, the, the whole purpose of doing this is I don't have to use the rubber ring. Here I show how I use the rubber band. band. Here I show how to use it. Here, here's the liver. When you open, we'll take this off. But when we put it on, because we don't use this liver, this rubber band, rain because we don't use this rubber rain this can accidentally open up as you juice so what i do is i use this rubber band and then put it hold this back and go over it and put it right here and that way we'll keep this in place and another thing in case there's a little leak Underneath here, I just put this little glass jar to catch it. You see today, just a slightly little bit. So now I put it on. Now it's ready to uh, ready to go. Instead of use their uh, juice uh, top come with the juicer, I use a four liter measuring cup. The height of the, the cup is exactly fit underneath the juicer and I can see how much juice uh, I, uh, from the cup. The cup enemies, and I use this juice tub to catch my pop. Now the juice is ready to go. Here are my carrots, I already pre-washed the carrots. When I, I will wash the carrots for, you know, two or three days, uh, brush them and put in this plastic container with the, some towels in my fridge. So make it easier every time I juice, they bring them out. It takes about three medium sized carrots to make one cup of juice. And I typically will split the carrots in half. Just make it easier to go, th go, go through. If the carrot is too thick, 
it's hard to push through. You ha really have to jam it in. You don't want to do that. So it's better to split the carrots lengthwise to make it easier to go in, and that's important. And every carrot juice, it's good to put a one Granny Smith apple. And typically, I will make two or three cups of carrot juice at a time. So I put a one and one and a half apples, depends um, in my carrot juice. And, and the apples, I just cut them into little pieces. Uh, six and eight pieces, depending on the size of the apple. So you don't have to push too hard. Now we're almost done. I typically will stop uh, continue feeding the carrots um, at about uh, two and a half cups if you want to get the three cups because I'm going to recycle the pulp to get more juice. So what I do now is take this out, put this empty one in. Now I'm going to put the pulp back in. The pop just naturally going down. I don't really have to push very much. But as long as I don't feed too much at a time, just go down by itself. You can see the bottom, the juice coming out. This really is one of the biggest advantage of a super energy juicer. It's a save a lot of money on produce. It lasts longer too because the skin is still here. You might wonder what do I do with the pulp? I put in my garden compost and make a fertilizer for next year. I, we have a three big composter in our backyard. Because we juice so much, we, produce, uh, we make a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, pops. See, almost done. And now it's more than three cups. So, give me quite a bit more juice. So that's the pop I'm going to put in the backyard. I'm going to disassemble this. I'm going to put the juicer on the side. Juice on the side. Okay, this is my juice. Look, my beautiful carrot juice. Take this off. And, and then I take off the rubber band to hold the gear together. And at this point, I put this juicer on reverse, make it easier for the gear to come off. Reverse just a little bit, but you open the lever and then put the reverse. So remove slowly because you don't want this to come off. Okay, so here we go. I use a knife to brush this off because I put those and rewind the time so this I'm gonna before I brush it in my in my sink I take it off and then between this gears I just push them off clean the pop I prefer doing this because I can Put the pulp in my compost and not waste it down the drain, down the sink, and also make it clean easier. And and when I juice throughout the day, I don't have to clean every after every single juice. Uh, typically, my experience is if once you juice five and six cups, you probably a good idea to clean it. 
because just make the juicer more efficient. And here we go. And then we're done for the juice. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy watching this video, please give us a like and leave us a comment. Uh, do you do juicing? What kind of juicer do you use? Uh, do you use a Super Android juicer? And uh, what's your experience has been? And remember, if you do need to get a Super Android juicer, please contact me. Uh, we have a special promotion. You will get one of those books free as a bonus come with the Super Android juicer. This is our almost 500 pages. This author of the book is the creator of the Super Android juicer. He used the juicing, healed himself from chronic illnesses and he moved on, helped many, many other people before he created the Super Android juicer. So I hope you can, I hope you enjoy watching uh, this video. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to sign up uh, to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be able to catch all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye for now.